what's up everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm paris and i make videos all about candle making and the starting and managing of my small candle business lady simone candle co today it's real informal um i wanted to kind of chit chat with you all about wholesale as i am actually talking to a potential private label client super exciting and so i'm actually making some samples i know these last two video last several videos have been in my kitchen like <laughs> cranking out candles i've had several things coming up that's required me to of course restock for my customers but i've had events and now i'm making samples for my potential private label clients so i kind of wanted to chit chat with you all about that today and what that process has been like so let's just get started all know the deal nothing's changed with my process i'm about to just get my jars cleaned with the jars the whole nine my wax is melting over here and all that stuff and just kind of chit chat with you for a little bit so i have a potential private label client so what is private label so basically it's a wholesale client right where they will purchase candles from me at the wholesale price but the difference is with private label, they want to sell my candles. Pretty much they want my candles unlabeled with no label on them. And they want to then sell them for retail, resell them. And so pretty much they are going to sell them as if they were their own candles, except for they're purchasing it from me and a lot of clients do this that are interested in selling candles but don't necessarily want to do the process of making the candles and so with that they will contact you know a candle maker such as myself and go into contract and go into agreement to purchase a bulk bulk of your candles at the wholesale price to then resell them um, at the retail price and so I was actually approached um, this client actually approached me and I'm super super excited as wholesale is one of the things I've been um, getting into reaching out to people so um, I've also been looking at like wholesale sites um, where I can like have my wholesale you know shop on there and you know customers browse um, wholesalers and purchase from there uh, so it's been I've been on the move <laughs> and so this client in particular though actually contacted me and I am just ecstatic and so I um, drew up my wholesale terms and conditions and things like that which I'll walk through with you all in a few um, after I get these going and I outlined that I'm getting my contract ready and drawn up so that way we can go, you know, into a formal agreement and make sure all of my ducks is squared in a row. And then, of course, I'm making some samples, which um, I'm doing for free. And uh, because this is like one of my first potential clients that I'm pretty positive will go through. I'm been praying to God every day. And so um I'm going to show them, will give them my empowering collection. And I am making those since now so they can have time. I already did some paper towels. So they can have time to cure and set and I can just make them like, I take time with my candles anyway, but I just wanna make sure it's like bomb. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want a, a great presentation. And so I am getting my jars clean. Now these are my new jars. Um, I featured these in a video not too long ago. And the testing has been going great. I have a few more scents that I actually need to test, um, which I'll be doing that probably sometime next week because you all know I am pretty much kind of relaunching Lady Simone um, next month. And so I am getting everything finalized and ready and um, I'm releasing some new scents. And so new scents requires new testing. New jars requires new testing. And, um, you know, to make sure the burn is right. And I don't have any issues. Um, I have not released any new scents since November. 
So it's been a while. And what better way to kick off my relaunch than a new scent? So I wanna make sure everything is squared away and I don't have any issues with the new scent. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing now. And so with wholesale, the route that I have been taking so far this year is I'm looking at FAIR, the website FAIR, F-A-I-R-E. And I'm looking at that website because um, it, it kind of reminds me of like a marketplace, like an Etsy or something of that nature where, you know, people can come on and browse and choose to purchase you know, at the wholesale price I have, you know, and everything is kind of already streamlined through them and all of that stuff. I do want to secure, um, at least my goal for this year is to secure at least, um, two clients this year. That is my goal. And I'm talking to one right now, um, for the private label piece. And I'm just, I'm super excited. And so I just want to like encourage you all. If you're thinking about starting a candle business, look, what's stopping you right like i refuse to let anything stop me at this point god has truly been good this over this past year and i'm snagging on to any opportunity that's right you know i've always pray about it and whatever is lined up with his will i'm doing it and so i am excited to get these samples out to him and his wife and um we'll see how it goes and i'm praying that it goes well I already sent him my contract and terms and conditions and all of that stuff. So they're reviewing that. In the meantime, I'm going to ship them out some samples. The issue that he has been having is he hasn't had <laughs> um, success with hot throw from whoever he has sampled other scents from, whatever candle business that he's sampled from. And so, look, I'm like... <laughs> really so of course i'm making sure my candles is right now i've tested you know i've been selling for over you know for almost a year now and you know i haven't i've perfected my recipe and so um i am just waiting in anticipation once he get these samples from me ah, i'll be shipping them out next week so y'all pray for me <laughs> that all goes well <laughs> And so right now I'm just labeling the scents that I'm using um, and getting everything organized uh, so I can pop these bad boys in the oven, let them cure. I've cleaned them off real well, so they should be good to go. I mean, not so they can you know minimize the chance of wet spots that's what I was trying to say all right Samples are all done. 
So now that my handles are done, I wanted to pop on here and really kind of just give you a little insight on wholesale and kind of how I structured my terms and conditions. And of course, I did my research on this and I pretty much developed this kind of guideline and this template for myself based on my research and, um, you know, looking at wholesale websites and, and getting insight from other candle makers and things like that. So you always want to at least set a minimum you want to at least set a minimum order value and you know you let them know what your retail price is which $16 per candle which is what my price is going to be when I relaunch and so therefore the wholesale price will be um, half of that and um, for first-time customers it's always smart period to have a minimum order value and um, I decided to do a, a different kind of incentive for first time wholesale customers. They can purchase, you know, a smaller quantity, um, at least four different cents, because that way it gives them a chance to get a variety of what I have to offer. And so one thing when it comes to wholesale, what you want to make sure is that there's wiggle room for profit not only on your end but for their end as well because they're when when wholesale clients are looking you know for a wholesale you know person to purchase candles from they're also thinking about their markup value and so you have to make sure there's enough wiggle room for both you and the client so this is how i set my pricing structure the first time minimum order and then subsequent orders following that Next, you want to give them instructions on how to place an order. So right now, this is how I have them placing an order. Um, I am currently researching the back end of Shopify to see how to kind of streamline this order process, looking at different forms, or again, I am looking at FAIR, F-A-I-R-E, or that wholesale website, it's like a wholesale marketplace, and where they kind of you know they have the it's, you know you set up your wholesale site on their website um, to so and to streamline that process there so I'm still doing some research but since I'm just getting started emailing me is absolutely just fine <laughs> and so I kind of list out what them what the steps will be I also give terms and conditions around the um, my retail price and what that looks like giving them conditions on what it may look like in terms of trying to discount prices and you know for their customers and things like that and how we kind of need to consult one another I let them know you know the terms around the actual wholesale pricing and shipping and things like that who how they can contact me for returns and all of that you want to let them know how you want to get paid and the conditions around when to pay you. You want to make sure you outline this, guys. Um, it's very, very important um, to create terms around payment and in, in the payment time frame. So that way you are, you know, collecting your coin <laughs> in a good time. You want to also discuss shipping and your terms around that. Um, and what that may look like from their perspective and, and what you're willing to charge or, or eat it or eat in terms of shipping cost. So again, this requires you to kind of dive into your numbers to make sure you're not eating too much into your bottom line for your wholesale clients. This goes into um, damages and defects, you know, what how to handle that, how to contact me. And, and what I will do to solve the problem. You want to also outline the delivery window. You know, how long it's going to take to, you know, process their order and then deliver it and get it shipped and everything like that. So you want to outline that as well. Um, I did include here on back orders. I wasn't going to include this because... You know, I'm still, I st even though I'm going to be a year old in my in my business ownership <laughs> space, you know, I was just like, maybe, you know, probably some of this is just too soon to even include. But I felt it important to include because, 
you know, candle suppliers sometimes can have scarcity with their supply and you don't want to run the risk of always guaranteeing that supplies are going to be available. You cannot control candle suppliers and their stock, right? And so I want to make sure I, I decided to go ahead and add this plug in here just in case to let them know, you know, what that may look like should they place another large wholesale order and I may be at a standstill from a, from a candle supplier's perspective. And then of course, no international orders. And even though I don't do international shipping, even on my candle website, I still decided to include that. Should anyone again, research me and, and, and is interested, I have all of these terms and conditions laid out. So this is kind of the template that I created for myself and I'm pretty happy with it I'm pretty um I need to fix this I'll fix this while we're on the phone I'm pretty happy with it uh and uh, again I this was I developed this out of research and and looking at um other you know candle wholesale sellers and of course consulting kind of my go-to candle makers and sellers who are bomb in the game just to get some insight and ensure that my terms and conditions are outlined properly. So that is it. I'm going to go ahead and end my little random headquarters vlog here. What's been going on in the Lady C headquarters. Uh, so I will go ahead and sign off. I did want to um, say a few a few things if you did not catch my live yesterday yeah that would be yesterday about time you see this video it will be yesterday <laughs> um about how to start a candle biz for beginners course and the aroma is open i have been getting questions and and emails and things like that so if you missed the live you can catch my live right here on youtube or you can go to my instagram and check my live out there in my IGTV videos. Also, I am doing a free webinar, a free two hour webinar that's literally gonna drop next week. <laughs> um, I decided to go ahead and drop it next week before the cart close for my course. This webinar, um, I'm thinking about either doing it once a month, but it'll probably be like once a quarter. I will do a free two hour webinar and I really want to use these, this time to um, kind of get some more candle business insight and give snippets into my course. So it will always kind of be around the time my cart is open in that time frame. And just to kind of, you know, let you know what to expect in the course and give you insight into what you're going to be learning um, in about the candle business industry. So stay tuned for that. The link for the invite is in the description box. It's free. It's a free two hour webinar. So make sure you sign up, especially if you are a candle maker and you're aspiring to start your own business. Not only is this course for you, but this webinar is a good segue into becoming a student in my course. It's a great segue. You get insight on all the goods and you get snippets of what it takes to really be a candle business owner in this industry and what it's gonna take to stand out and all about the operations and things like that. So this course is definitely for you if that is something on your vision board for this year and then this webinar, sign up, it's free. I got you, um, I'm here to help walk you through the process. I want you to win. I want you to start your candle businesses this year. So if that is something you wanna do, do it. Nobody's stopping you but you. You got this. So all the information, it's in the description box. The link to my course is also in the description box. It's under All Things Lady C. That is the link to the course. And you can also still put your name on the wait list because this course is open and closed enrollment. So if you want to get your name on the wait list just to stay up to date, you are more than welcome to do that as well. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you're following me at Lady C Candle Co. and also Lady C's Digital Headquarters. That's L-A-D-Y-C-S Digital HQ. Make sure you're following me there too. That's where I talk about all things candle making, right? So make sure you're following me on all of my platforms. All right, until next time, bye.